a year after it was pronounced airworthy by the FAA, and 14 years after it was first announced, the Samson Sky Switchblade is officially off the ground. This street-legal three-wheeler converts to a 200 miles per hour airplane at the touch of a button. At the Grant Country International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington, the switchblade lifted off for an exhilarating first flight, reaching an altitude of 500 feet and circling around to touch down some six minutes later. Samson says it's taken some 2,300 reservations for the switchblade, from 57 different countries, at an estimated starting price of $170,000, highlighting the fact that there's definitely a market for a truly rotable aircraft. This three-wheel design qualifies as a motorcycle in many jurisdictions, vastly simplifying the street accreditation process. It'll sell as an experimental or home-built aircraft, so you'll need to build more than half of it yourself, but Samson says it'll have a builder assist center where you can do that in a week, with all the right tools and supervision on site. The two-seat vehicle can manage speeds over 125 mph in street mode, with its wings and tail folded out of the way. In flight mode, it'll get up to 200 miles per hour and 13,000 feet of altitude, with a hybrid power system running on regular 91 octane pump gas delivering up to 500 miles of range from a full 36 gallon fuel tank. The transition from car to plane won't be particularly quick, it'll take around 3 minutes for the tail to extend and unfurl, and for the wings to swing out from under the chassis and lock into place. But the process will be automatic, we put this in the future tense because Samson is yet to show a video of a prototype actually doing it. This ain't your Jetson-style VTOL flying car, you'll need 1,100 feet of clear tarmac at the very least to take off. And you won't be allowed to do that on the street, so you'll need to plan your multi-mode trips around airports, or else be real sneaky about it. But still, it's an airplane you can park in a regular garage rather than paying for hangar space, and it'll be a pretty remarkable way to get around as and when it reaches production. There's no word yet on when exactly that might be, Samson simply says this flight test data will be used to finalize production engineering and build several production prototypes. Production, as we know, is hard, so Samson still has a mountain to climb, but like the remarkable Klein Vision flying car, the switchblade is now airborne and proving its capabilities in both modes. We wish the team all the best as it pushes forward.